supporters of jailed Kremlin critic Navalny take to the streets despite warnings. Here's a summary of the article. Six-minute read. Moscow. Police detained more than 3,000 people and used force to break up rallies across Russia on Saturday as tens of thousands of protesters ignored extreme cold and police warnings to demand the release of Kremlin critic Alexei Navalny. Navalny had called on his supporters to protest after being arrested last weekend as he returned to Russia from Germany for the first time since being poisoned with a nerve agent he says was slipped to him by state security agents in August. The United States condemned what it described as harsh tactics, used against protesters and journalists and called for Navalny's immediate and unconditional release. The European Union's foreign policy chief, Josep Borrell, said in a post on Twitter that he deplored the authorities' disproportionate use of force, while Britain's foreign minister, Dominic Raab, condemned the use of violence against peaceful protesters and journalists. Some protesters marched on the prison, where police were waiting to arrest them. State prosecutors opened criminal cases into alleged violence against police officers by protesters. In Moscow, some journalists covering the protests were detained, drawing a rebuke from the U.S. Embassy. This post received a score of 36,000, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. After Navalny's latest investigation into Putin's corruption and his palace paid for by stolen money and bribes, more and more people started realizing that something needs changing. Failed attempt on Alexei's life gave him so much more power and supporters than he had before. A lot of people are scared but from discussions with friends and colleagues, seem that people are much more ready to act now. By the way, investigation is English dubbed, so you can still watch it. It's both entertaining and infuriating. Edit, video just has English subs. Really cracked me up when he said, now all that's left to say is please like and subscribe. OMG, I'm trying to topple a corrupt oligarchy with the power of base, but I can't do it unless you slap like now. Check out my new merch, link in the description. You can have a direct impact by becoming a Patreon. You don't want to miss those Patreon exclusives. I will send my poison underwear to my OnlyFans. This could be a pivotal moment in Russian history. I hope the protesters are undeterred by threats of arrest. Russians deserve better than Putin and his corrupt cronies. Around 350 people across the country were arrested. That shows that Russians have had enough and that it's the start of something bigger. Over 1,000 PPL now. Greater than the number of people detained at protests across Russia reached 1090 people at 1602, OVD Info reports. Thanks for sharing. 1873 now. Holy shit. Where are you seeing that number? 2130 now. Just look at that Twitter account. I was a teenager in America, but I remember the USSR had been stumbling through some political reforms that weren't really making the news in the West. Suddenly, CNN was showing Yeltsin standing on a tanker street in Moscow, addressing a crowd with a bullhorn. Edit, in case it wasn't clear, I grew up in America. I have never been to Russia, this is the observation of an outsider. That quote really summarized last year. I feel like that quote will summarize the next decade. It's inspiring to see that there are still a sizable number of Russians who don't want to put up with a corrupt government. I hope this is just the beginning of ever larger growing defiance towards the thugocracy that rules the country and extends way beyond just freeing Navalny. Udarchi v Sem Melodkam v Rossii. Didn't Russians change the constitution without knowing what they're voting for? Putin stay in power longer, next president after him serves no more than two terms, no presidential candidate allowed to have double citizenship or lived abroad, even for studies, example, lived abroad while attending Western University, president's role become nominal, shake hands, making scripted statements on press conferences and be present at the photoshoots, example, president of Germany, without googling you likely don't know his name, new power beacon will be prime minister, Huku. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.